Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson. And I'm Katherine Maidaman. And today we are at the Encompass Health Rehab Hospital located on the 170. It is a beautiful facility and it's brand new. It absolutely is. Share with us about our guest today. Our guest today. And our guests today are Renee Bannon, who is the Director of Business Development, and we have a patient uh, visiting as well, John Bates. We also have Ryan Dromsky, who is the Director of Therapies, and Dr. Samoya, the Medical Director. So we're going to be learning all kind of things about their services they offer and all about their one-year anniversary coming up. June 20th, and here between 4 and 8, we highly recommend you to come in and view the facility. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. So stick around for this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We're here at the Encompass Health Rehab Hospital on the 170 and joining us here up first is Ms. Renee Bannon, RN, and also you're the director of the development here in this brand new facility. It's such a great place mm -hmm. that we're learning all about. Share with us some of the highlights, some of the main things that happen here. Absolutely, so we are an acute inpatient rehabilitation hospital. Uh, so we offer very specific, very specialized inpatient rehabilitation uh, for patients that have had um, acute events um, in their life um, that have obviously changed um, you know, their way of life. And, and in order to get them back to uh, their level of independence that they were before, uh, we focus on the rehabilitation that's necessary uh, uh, for the patients to get back. I love how you put that, to get them back to the level of independence that they were at once mm -hmm. at, because that's such a big yeah. thing as far as rehabilitation. Yes, so absolutely. Yes. You know, this facility being one year old, mm -hmm. and then we're still learning about the location. you right here on 170, outside the gate of Sun City. Yes. So I wanted to make sure everybody the knows where you're looking. The back gate of Sun City. The back yes. gate of Sun City. <laughs> yes. So that's really important for everybody to know. But I know unique in this facility is that the acute. So when we're talking about mm -hmm. the acute, what patients are coming here to see you after they're at the primary sure. hospital? Tell us yes. about that. Yes. Um, so we treat a wide uh, range of conditions. Some of the uh, main conditions that we treat, of course, are stroke, hip fractures, amputations, spinal cord injuries, uh, neurological conditions such as Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis. Um, so there is a broad range that we do treat. Um, and another key uh, piece to that is that uh, uh, the acute care hospital is not the only um, avenue for patients to get to our hospital. Um, we, are, we are actually able to admit patients from home, from the physician's office, and also from the acute care hospitals because we are licensed as a hospital. Um, so there's some key pieces to that criteria that really separate us from some of the other uh, inpatient rehabilitation facilities in the area, such as the skilled nursing facilities. Okay. Oh, that's really yeah. unique. So they don't have to necessarily be released from the hospital here. They could come from the doctor here. Right. A lot okay. of the skilled nursing facilities actually require a three-night hospital stay um, and a PPD to be placed in order to qualify for an admission to the skilled nursing facility. And because we're licensed as a hospital, we do not require that. Uh, so we have the privilege to admit patients, like I said, directly from the hospital, even if it's only from the ER, um, from the patient. Okay. home. My team uh, can go into the patient's home uh, and do an assessment to see if they meet the criteria for inpatient rehabilitation. Um, and of course the physician's office, if the physician calls us and says, hey, my patient is struggling with this, um, we can come and see if they meet that criteria. I just want to be uh, clear, make sure that we're not an ER, but we are mm -hmm. have the ability to take uh, patients with acute care who needs a care. And yes. That's really unique. I think that's super special to understand that. Absolutely. We are not an ER. Um, we're, we're not looking to, to, to replace an ER, but we are looking for folks that, you know, have a stable condition that is new, a new onset um, that we can, uh, that also need, of course, the rehabilitation piece as well. Of course, this lovely gentleman joining us here, <laughs> Mr. Bates, you yes. uh, were someone who have really benefited from the facilities here. You were a stroke patient. Tell us a little bit about your story. Okay, well, my wife and I came down here in January. We were gonna spend three months at Hilton Head. 
And the fourth day that I was here, uh, we had played tennis that afternoon. I was cooking dinner okay. and had a stroke. All, you know, I was cooking and all of a sudden I was laying on the floor totally incapacitated. And uh, my wife uh, called the emergency and they got me into the hospital. And I spent five days in the hospital. And while I was there, towards the end, the business develop manager, development manager met me and re re got me referred to this facility. And that was a godsend. I, I didn't know, we were here, we didn't know anybody. I mean, talk about, you know, fish out of water. We were, we came yeah. from towns in Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. Wow. So we didn't know a soul. And uh, they made us feel so comfortable. It felt like coming home. Wow. So wow. you were in the hospital for three days first, and then you were transported up here for an additional seven days? Yeah. So during the seven days, tell us how your experience was. Tell us the day. Well, the, the first thing it was that I had to find out, because uh, I just had the stroke, uh, begin to realize who I was. Mm. You know, it was a long, slow process. But here, they took real good care of explaining where I was at, what I was doing, what the process was, and gave me the assurance that I would be okay. Because you don't know that at first. You don't know if you're going to survive or if you are going to survive, if you even know who you, what your name is. So that was the big sin to me was that there was uh, reassuring that I would be back to normal. Mm -hmm. I would be back to doing the things I needed to do. And they had the staff on hand uh, in the rehabilitation with physical therapy and occupational therapy and speech therapy that handled all the things that you need to get back to doing. They were able to do that and not just do it because that was their job, but to do it because they cared about me. And I felt like, you know, I had come home. As a matter of fact, the feeling of coming home was so great that I decided to move here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, after uh, spending a week here and then uh, several weeks in outpatient rehab, I made a decision that, you know, everybody here is so kind. Why would you ever leave? Yeah. And uh, so we made the decision that we moved to Hilton Head, and we have done that. What a fascinating testimony that whole thing is. That just shows you that life happens and you never know what it is. Here you here a couple and of days and this and this happens. Mm -hmm. So that's just an amazing story. And I just story. want to double check. So now you're independent. You're back. I'm back, back to life. independent. I'm out uh, swimming every day, just about uh, nice. riding my bicycle all over the beach, uh, walking with my wife over the beach, and uh, and hopefully at some point I'll be back to playing tennis. Wow. That's the only thing I'm not doing yet. <laughs> that I used to do. That I, I, you know, I look. I know that that will come. Well, you just it gave will. me the goosebumps. We'll get there. Yeah, <laughs> I, know. I, I love you hearing that. Lovely to have you join us, John. Oh, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And Renee, thank you too. Absolutely. I know there's so much more we can learn, and we'll hope yes. you do that when we come back. Just real quick, is there a website, or where can someone go to find out a little bit more in the meantime? Yes, time? yes. Please uh, contact us at our uh, main number, 843-836-8200, or our website is encompasshealth.com/slash Bluffton Rehab. Great. Well, we're going to be back for some more 843 TV.